Hey free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So this is just going to be a really quick update on what Liling's update is going to look like. So rather his nerf. And in most cases, I think it's still going to be a nerf but I'm going to talk a little bit more about where I feel like it's no longer going to be a nerf based on where he can be useful in due to the changes in his second skill. So let's take a look at his second skill before we talk a little bit more about where I find his relevance in. Okay, so there you go. Five crits and five AP ups over here. And what you notice is when he takes a turn again, he is going to have at least 50% AP. So over here, you can see 57 AP. So that means that when he crits, whenever he crits, he's going to increase his AP by 10%. So this is not bad in some cases, but I feel like it doesn't really have a lot of changes to his kit in most cases. Now the reason why this is not going to be that relevant is because most of the time you're only going to be using your third skill followed by your second skill and that's about it. If you have to go even beyond that to use your first skill, that probably means that your DPS is really lacking a lot and you're actually just grasping at straws at this point of time. So where do I find relevance with his second skill? I feel like it helps most mid game players. It doesn't necessarily help early game players because when you are low level early game player, you do not have a 100% crit rate. Or at least I feel like it's very hard for you to get a 100% crit to abuse his second skill that efficiently. So it's only going to be more useful for mid game players. And where will this skill then be useful in? It's not going to be useful in PvP because like I said, you're going to use a third skill followed by a second skill and that's about it. If you have to go beyond that, you're probably not doing something right. So all that we are really left with is probably using him not in Temporal Tower because he no longer scales according to max HP but probably to use him only in Chronos where he can gain turns a little bit more efficiently. As for endgame content where I feel like he strives the most is probably going to be the Dark Star Lord because he's going to give himself a little bit more turns that way which can be a little bit relevant and there is also the Shadow Fire case where you start off using your second skill to give yourself 50% AP so that when the boss enters that I phase, you will then have your AP almost close to 100% at the point of time and then you can drop your third skill so that you land an AoE nuke. So this is probably like the biggest few synergies that I can see in terms of using Liling for endgame content, mostly going to be Shadow Fire and Dark Star Lord. But for early game players, this is definitely still going to be a nerf for you guys. But for mid game players, his second skill can be a little bit more efficient in some cases. So that's it for this video, it was just a really quick update on his second skill. Leave your comments down below, let me know what you think about his kit. Where do you think he'll be viable in? Do you think he will still be useful in some of the content that you've been using him in? Do you think he'll still be useful in let's say Holo Battle or Point War? As for me, I still feel like nothing has changed for me. I might still just go ahead and reset him, just rewind him, get back all my ability mods and use it on someone else who requires it a little bit more. But with that said, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up, it really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now with that said, this has been Derry Free to Play and as always, I will see you in the next video.